हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्दी आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर के पी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट टेम्परेट टॉरिड एंड फ्रिजिट विच आर द थ्री मेजर जोन्स ऑफ द अर्थ राइट सो टेम्परेट टेम्परेट मीन्स मॉडरेट माइल्ड something which is neither too hot nor too cold because this area lies in the temperate zone means this area receives little amount of sunlight as compared to the torrid zone okay now uh, maybe you know the extent of the temperate zone that it it, uh, it lies between tropic of cancer and arctic circle in the north and tropic of capricorn and antarctic circle in the south so now what are grasslands here as the name suggests grasslands lands which is made up of grasses or in other words we can say a land which is covered by grasses and has no or very less trees okay if we we'll compare it with the desert area they receives high rainfall as compared to the desert area but are drier than the forest okay if we we'll talk about at earth land then grassland makes 1 by 4 portion it covers 1 by 4th portion of our earth's surface okay and the trees or the plants which are found on the grassland that depend on the climate prevailing there and the type of soil found there okay and on the basis of climate grasslands are divided into two categories one is temperate region second is tropical region clear temperate region and tropical region but in today's session we will read about read about temperate region okay because in your book only this is given so first we will discuss about the climate climate means the weather condition the sum total of weather condition which is prevailing at a particular place for a long period of time right so if we we'll talk about the climatic condition prevails in the temperate grasslands so they are that is cooler and drier cooler and drier areas means if we compare it with the torrid zone you know torrid zone is the heat zone of the earth because it receives maximum amount of sunlight because there sunlight are stronger sun rays are stronger okay that's why torrid is hot zone of the earth but if we we'll talk about the climate of temperate uh, zone or temperate grasslands there which type of climate prevails cooler and drier areas as compared to the torrid zone right next is temperate grassland so here i have written some names that means temperate grasslands are also known with the other name in different end continents we can say so temperate grasslands are known by pampas in south america they are known as pampas in south america prairies in north america steppes in eurasia what is eurasia we have read this topic in chapter number 1 eurasia means europe plus asia together uh, together uh, together called as eurasia wells in africa downs in australia so one by one we will discuss the different uh, names uh, the different names of the temperate grassland and what does it mean exactly so first we have prairies so as i told you prairies prairies is the another name of tra, uh, temperate grassland so in north america the temperate grasslands are known by the name prairies hence prairies prairies is derived out from the latin word which means prieta which means prieta and prieta means meadows so now the question arises what is meadow what are meadows a field of grass a field of grass is known as meadows means prairies means prieta okay so i have told you that uh, prairies temperate grasslands are known by prairies in north america if we'll talk about the climate prevails there so extreme means in summer the uh, climate is around 20 degree celsius temperature is around 20 degree celsius and winter it goes to minus 20 degree celsius okay and if we talk about the rainfall it receives the amount of rainfall it receives that is moderate about 88 cm and this amount of rainfall is uh, good for the growing uh, growing of grasses okay 
Next is wheat basket of the world. Why prairies are called wheat basket? Because maximum amount here, the wheat is produced in abundance, in plenty. That's why the prairies are also known as wheat basket. And do you know one thing? USA. Why USA is the largest exporter of wheat? Answer is because of this. Because maximum amount of wheat is produced here. And maximum amount of uh, wheat is produced here because of that USA is the largest exporter of the wheat in the world. So this is about prairies. Next is steppes. Where they are found? They are found in Eurasia. Okay. So if we we'll talk about the area, steppes are dry piece of land which is covered by grasses. And where it is found? It is found between desert area and a forest area. Okay. Next is which type of climate prevails there? Temperate. Temperate means moderate. Warm to hot in summer. Cool to cold during winter. Right. Strepis are another name of the temperate grassland. Next is grasses here are short. Okay. Here you will find the grassy size of the grasses are short. And uh, one more important fact about steppes is that it receives little rainfall. Okay. Next is pampas. Pampas means another name of the temperate grassland. Okay. So it has variety of grasses. Pampas means temperate grassland has a variety of grasses which are good for grazing animals. Okay. Grazing means uh, for feeding the animals. Okay. Next is which type of climate prevails in pampas? That is temperate. Again, moderate. In summer, humid. Humid means the water, or oh, sorry, the air have moisture in it. Okay. Water content is available in the air. And warm. In winter, mild temperature. Mild again means moderate. Okay. Rainfall different throughout the year. That means pampas means which is temperate grassland receives different amount of rainfall. Amount of rainfall differs. Okay. Varies throughout the year. Next is downs. Which type of climate prevails in downs? Again moderate and uh, in summer the temperature ranges between 28 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. In winter the temperature ranges between 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. And if we we'll talk about the amount of rainfall it receives, that is educate means uh, sufficient for the growth of the grasses. So we have uh, learned about the different names of the temperate grasslands, right? So now students, I will discuss about the wildlife. Wildlife means the plants and animals that live in the surroundings or in nature we can say. Okay, so rabbit, rat, deer, kangaroo, prairie dog. These are some animals which are found in the temperate zone. So next is people. Persons who live in the temperate zone. Okay. So they are the hotentas from the wells. Wells as we, as we have discussed that another name of the temperate grassland. Okay. In Africa. Next is the Kyrgyz from the steppes in Central Asia. Steppes is in uh, this name is called by in Eurasia, Europe plus Asia. Another name of the temperate grassland, right? So, uh, they are some of the nomadic tribes living in the grassland. That means the grassland, some part of the grassland are occupied by these two nomadic tribes. Now, the question arises here, what are nomadic tribes? What exactly this term is? Nomadic means, nomadic people are those people who move from one place to another place in search of water, in search of food, okay. And they take their animals with them. And the houses, if we we'll talk about the houses they live in, so they live in tents, which is made up of animal skin, right. And uh, these people, nomadic people, what they do, uh, do uh, they wear loose cloth. Why they wear loose cloth? And they also wear the turban. Why so? In order to protect them, their bodies from uh, direct heat of the sunlight or in order to keep their body cool, okay. So, what are tribes? Tribes means a group of people who uh, have the same occupation, means same business or who live in the same area. So, these are the two nomadic tribes uh, who are living in the grassland. Okay. They herd cattle and sheep. They rear cattle and sheep. So, what is herd? Herd means a group of animals that 
feed and that are uh, that live together okay a group of animals that live and feed together feed uh, means eat together they are called herd so they herd cattle and sheep so the uh, these are some facts about the temperate grasslands